What is happening guys, Call of Duty Black Ops Kid here, coming at you with some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare information, leaks, and some more things about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. So first things first, we got some really good insider information on Modern Warfare 4. This is pretty much confirmed, it's been on the inside of, uh, people inside of Infinity Ward, and we have insider knowledge. Uh, what's going to be happening with Modern Warfare 4. So we hear a lot of things about like loot boxes returning, which is also one of the things like kind of like the Black Ops 3 style. Um, they're kind of going away from the tier system uh, that was brought over in Black Ops 4, which a lot of people not 100% about. We also have COD points returning, which we kind of figured that's kind of be the new Call of Duty currency. That continues to go along with the rest of the series. Um, so that's also something happening. So one of the biggest things that we have going on right now is that Modern Warfare 4 apparently will have free DLC. Now what in the terms of that we don't really know. It could be like in the terms of like Call of Duty Black Ops 4 where they just basically rinse skin a map and day and night. Which is I think is a, is a worthless excuse for a map because you can get a map six times in a row if that in that case i just don't really i can see this happening but i don't see it being in like a grand scale of like remastering like favela or like high rise or rust i could see it in terms of like bringing things from the camp more campaign maps nothing that they have to work a whole lot of time on or maybe they will make 15 total maps uh, it doesn't, I don't think it has to be 15 total maps, could be just an abundance of maps. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Um, that's kind of interesting. So, there is going to be a season pass for the game. Kind of, it's going to work kind of like Infinity War, Infinite Warfare. And, uh, how you, when you sign in, you can actually get COD points. Uh, not probably a whole lot, but like maybe 100 COD points or 50 COD points, depending on... I'm sure you can get this through ran, you know, daily active bonuses. Just like think of it as like kind of that way. Uh, that's what they were talking about. Um, you get COD points, but then you can open supply drops and get cosmetic items for your character, which they were saying beanies, shirts, pants, vest, knee pads, stuff like that. So in the customization style of ghosts, hopefully you get a little bit more character customization when it comes to like hair stuff like that kind of think of it I want to think of it as like PUBG but I feel like it's gonna be more like ghosts where they can't what well, they don't have 100% complete control but you do have a, a way to look at your character so that's gonna be something fun uh, they're really listening to the community with free things this time around I know Black Ops 4 was really good about free things like they give you free guns but you have to play like the game for like an a month of gameplay or whatever and I mean I feel like it worked for some people but some people weren't really into it I don't think you do get a, a sign in bonus for the regular battle pass or seasonal pass or whatever you want to call it at this point but you will get a higher sign in bonus every time when you have a season pass so that's kind of cool they actually give you some free things this time around whether or not they include DLC guns I think um, they've all done DLC guns since I think um, Infinite Warfare now, uh, not that they haven't done it before with Black Ops 3 and everything, but they're going to be making it a little bit more with more DLC guns, um, with, uh, Modern Warfare 4. Also, they've pretty much confirmed a s sort of survival mode and a spec ops mode, so that there's a, there's something, a second co-op mode where there's going to be it's something new so that could be a new zombies mode but we're everyone's starting to think it's more of like the survival mode from the modern warfare 3 series um because modern warfare has never had zombies so they could spin it that way uh who knows about that one but it's pretty much been leaked that it is going to be survival uh as well as a special ops mode for additional campaign missions because it is going to be an eight hour long campaign on regular difficulty which is is no t to no surprise because all the call of duties are about eight hours long in length going to veteran difficulty it's going to be maybe about double that possibly who knows uh black ops 3 i uh, didn't take any time at all to beat on veteran and uh world war 2 is a breeze i felt like so nothing wrong with that they're bringing free weapon skins and of course like i said free maps which is something that's really cool i want to say that they're going to 
bring the free stuff along the lines of like i said like maybe they're gonna do like world war ii where their original ideas and or possibly remastered ones from the previous games for free and then more coming along with the season pass so like more survival map possibly different spec ops modes i don't really know i mean model for three did it pretty well with their survival with their dlcs it added pretty cool achievements and different types of like kill streaks and stuff there's also been confirmed pretty much they're going to be around the same uh, weapons and kill streaks as Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Obviously, that's not really much of a surprise to most people. It's kind of cool. They're also pretty much confirming Modern Warfare 2 is going to be coming. They didn't really specify whether or not multiplayer was coming or not. Uh, they did say campaign, but they didn't really go into details much about multiplayer. Now, of course, it's going to be coming. Activision wouldn't want to do a Modern Warfare 2 remastered and not sell it with the game or... I hope they don't do it along the lines of what Modern War, or Infinity Ward did with Infinite Warfare, because I felt like a lot of people were like suckered into spending a hundred dollars, getting a crap game, and then getting a a, a decent remaster. Um, not that I'm saying that um, you know it wasn't worth getting it for uh, COD 4 remastered, but I feel like. I, I didn't really want to do that, and then they have released it by itself about a year afterwards. Um, nothing wrong with that. I mean, I feel like Modern Warfare 4 with all these leaks, it's going to be a pretty awesome game. I just feel like I don't really want to be suckered into buying a, a game with like a, like $100 at once. I feel like you should be able to buy either Modern Warfare 2 Remastered or be able to buy Modern Warfare 4. I feel like you should get like a decent discount. I would say $90 or maybe maybe the collectors or whatever the hell they want to call it. Uh, edition with Modern Warfare 4 and Modern Warfare 2 Remastered could be like $100. If you buy it separately, it could be, or it could be $40 for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, depending on if it's only campaign or not. I want them to do multiplayer. Everyone's going to say it's a new multiplayer. It would be a stupid choice not to. Um, I would say if you bought the the Together Edition, you'd save like $10, so like $90 for the like, Complete Edition. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered by itself, $40. And then, of course, Modern Warfare 4 for uh, $60. So that's basically what it is um and then yeah i mean it'd be the 10 year anniversary so you'd obviously have tons of content uh coming out you'd have model for two remastered and you'd have model for four um it'd be really cool i i don't think it would be a bad option to do it that way um to have model for two i would love to see multiplayer if they don't i won't be super sad but it would make so much sense to do it that way um, a lot of people were saying they were going to do Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 Remastered. That would be too much of a kickback. It would be too much. There's no way they would do Modern Warfare 3 Remastered. A lot of people have been leaking about it on YouTube and all over whatever kind of social platform you have. And it's just not coming. I doubt if anything they would do Modern Warfare 3 Remastered. Um, yeah, pretty much fans have been in uproar about Modern Warfare 2 not having multiplayer. But I feel like increasing sales... While also so comparing to Infinite Warfare bundled, we're not bought at separate. So I, like I said, keep those things either together or be able to buy separate, not just forced into buying a super expensive um, one online or whatever. I just, I just feel like that's kind of stupid. It's not a very good strategy. But hey, they made more money off it that way um, in the long run. So, anyways, that's all your Modern Warfare 4 information for right now. Um, not a lot of leaks, but that huge DLC season pass, well, actually, it was actually quite a bit. You got the loot box system is coming back from, like, a Black Ops 3 perspective. God Points is going to still be a thing, so make sure if you have a sale, buy them up, and then you have a lot of Modern Warfare 4 stuff ready to go for you. We got, like, character customization, free DLCs, maps, weapons, stuff like that. And, honestly, I feel like Modern Warfare 4, from what all the leaks and stuff are happening, it's actually going to be a pretty damn good game. I feel like they're actually going to be listening more to the community. I don't want them to take a Black Ops 4 approach where they just left the game dead and empty for, like, over months. And then we're worried about things not happening and coming out on time because... You know, everyone was just, it's dead. And then it moved over to Apex Legends and went back to Fortnite or whatever. And I felt like I, I even moved away from Black Ops 4 because there was just no content coming out. They had so much potential to continue to grow the game, and they didn't. And I feel like 
Modern Warfare 4 is really listening to the community. They're doing everything that the, the fans wanted them to do. They're going to return to the game series that they know and love for f over five years. And they're just going to make a hell of a good game. They're going to, they could be the number one spot and pick over Treyarch for best Call of Duty studios. Well, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, um, also make sure you subscribe for more great content just like this. We do upload every single day except for Sunday. So make sure if you want to see all more great Call of Duty content, make sure you subscribe. Um, also like the video if you really enjoyed. Comment on what you guys think about Modern Warfare 4 or if you want multiplayer in Modern Warfare 2. And make sure you just stay beautiful. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.